Welcome to the configuration video of Flying Upload. So first things first, um, we have to install Flying Upload. So in order to do so, go to our website, Flying Upload, and then log into your user account. You can use your email address or username and your password to log inside. Once you're logged inside, um, scroll down to the section downloads and there you can um, download your application please keep in mind that for mac os the installation can be a bit different so you can find installation tutorials for windows and mac os below so once the application is downloaded you are you are having a zip file which you can extract after extracting the zip file you can start the flying upload launcher so what we need now is the license key. So scroll up a bit to license key, just copy your key and paste it inside the launcher. Then hit start. What the launcher is doing now, it is checking your license key and once it is valid, it is downloading the main application. After um, the main application is downloaded, it will install it and then launch your main window. So that worked and the main window appears. Now we are getting to the general configurations of Flying Upload. The first thing you can do is select your country and based on your country you will get your language and um, where you will upload your designs, the platform. So first of all, we can select our country, let's say the United States, go to the edit window. And what we see is that now we get the English language for editing if we go to the upload window, we will see that we would be upload to Spreadshirt UK. Let's say we are in Germany, then we select Germany as our country. And then in the edit window, we get the language English as well as German. And by going back to the upload window, we will see that now we would be upload to Spreadshirt.de. If we now want to start to upload, we will get a notification that we did not configure our templates. So basically, if you start flying upload, you can edit your designs right away. But for uploading, we will need to configure some settings. You can find the settings on the upper left corner. Select settings. So the first thing we can configure is the appearance. We can set it to light or to dark mode, whatever you prefer. Second one is the upload speed. For fast, you should probably have a 25 Mbit internet connection. The second option is the auto login. So Flying Upload can automatically log you inside your accounts, or you could do this manually when starting the upload. So getting to the templates, just select your platform like Spreadshirt. Then we have two required input fields. One is the commission and the other one is the default template. So Flying Upload is using templates in the background, so it knows what it has to select. For example, in Spreadshirt, you can define different templates. For other platforms like Redbubble, you can use already uploaded designs um, to copy from. So in the settings window, you can define the templates for all options you can set in the edit window. So let's say you're a simple designer, you upload to man, woman and youth um, in the color black, then it's enough if you define only this template. If you're a designer who likes to upload to different um, types, I mean genders, with different colors, then you should probably consider to configure all templates. Let's say you set the options for a design, you want to upload it for use in the color black, and you did not set a template in the settings window. Then flying upload cannot use a template which is not selected, then it would use the default template. So. For this reason, the default template is mandatory because it is selected if no specific template is set. So Flying Upload always knows what to select. So highlighted with orange, you can see the connection between the colors and highlighted in blue, you can see the connection between the types. So now let's give an example. If we select the color black, and the type man and woman, then the following template would be 
selected for men and women. Another example would be with the color white. Let's set the color to white and the type to woman and youth. And then the following template for woman and youth would be used. Let's say um, you already configured all your templates, then it could look like this. You can use the template names however you want. Let's say for colorful, we forgot to configure this one template, but we set our design to colorful with men, women, and youth. Then Flying Upload would try to select that template, but I mean it's not configured, for this reason it would use the default template. So now we are getting to the templates, how to configure them and where to get them. So let's say we want to configure Spreadshirt.com. First enter the commission, which is only needed in, at Spreadshirt. Then go to Spreadshirt, go to your design, load the template. Now copy the template name that you wish to use and paste it into the default. Now going to Redbubble. At Redbubble we are using already uploaded designs copy them and now use the link but co copy the complete link and paste it into the settings window for teespring it is the same we use already uploaded designs duplicate the settings and now copy the link and paste it into the settings window now last but not least shirty scroll down Copy the campaign ID you would like to use, paste it into the settings window, and that's basically it. Now just hit save. And now we can go to upload. Now we can upload our designs, and we will not get the notification that we get got before, because we already configured our templates. So now in Teespring it is selecting the template. In this case we did not configure a specific template, we only configured the default template, so the default template is used. At Shorty it is uh, using the campaign ID, it is searching for the design, it is copying it and uploading the design. In the next video we will show you guys how to use the edit and the upload window effectively.